Hello, hello, good evening, Heidi. Hello, can you listen to me? Hello, teacher. Hey, how yes. are you? Hi, teacher, and you? Nice, I'm doing really good. Thanks so much for asking. Are you ready for today's class? Yes, teacher. Awesome. So today we're going to have just one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because it's only you and I. Okay. Somebody, okay, teacher, somebody, no problem. Somebody else is coming. I think it's Miguel. Well, uh, welcome. It's nice to be connected. It's already 8 uh, p.m. And we're going to start our class. Okay. Miguel, welcome, Miguel. How was your day? Hello. Um, good. Nice, nice to hear that. Okay, great. I'm glad you are connected. I thought it was going to be only one-on-one -on -one with Heidi, but <laughs> now it's going to be like three people. Okay, so welcome, guys. It's, um, it's our session number two, and let me start sharing the screen, okay? Let's see one second. And by, um, I mean, I wanted to ask you, have you completed the exercises on the platform? Have you done the exercises on the platform? No, not yet, teacher. Not yet. Okay, no. okay. What about you, Miguel? Have you completed the exercises there? Uh, only the first. Only the first part, okay. And, yes. and how did you do? Um, I have a problem with the, um, the press, simple, simple, uh, just, just, um, uh -huh. Uh, presence. In the present, yeah. Passive voice. Yes. Okay, all right. We're gonna talk about that today, okay? Because yesterday we only practiced the past tense, but today we're gonna practice the uh, present as well in passive voice. So welcome, Brice. You are welcome. I can see you are also there. So let me start sharing my screen because we only have it's a couple of minutes, okay? So this is session number two. And yesterday we couldn't finish the pronunciation, but we're gonna do it today, okay? So, but before we continue, I want mm -hmm. to uh, start reviewing, okay? So for today, we have two objectives. Miguel, can you please read the first one? By the end of this class, a student will notice the different ways the letter or is pronounced. Okay, thank you so much. And Heidi, please help me with the second one. Okay, teacher. In this class, participants will be able to listen and practice in conversation between people asking for a given information. Participant will also identify the passive with by in the context. Thank you so much. Yes, we're going to practice one conversation in which we are going to identify the present, the present passive voice. Okay, that's going to be it. Okay, so let's see. But before we do that, I want to start by reviewing, okay, yesterday's class, all right? Uh, let me start by saying this. Remember that yesterday we talked about the past, right? But in passive voice. So I need Milton. Milton, welcome, Milton. Can you please help me reading the first uh, sentence or the first example here in the... Okay. In the active voice, the subject of the center does the action. Continue. Please. John painted the house last week. Subject, bear, object. Exactly. So we have John painted the house last week. So now what is the passive here? As we can see, we also have the passive voice example. Now we make a change. We change the position of the subject and now it's not gonna be uh, John, our subject is going to be what? The object, which is the house. So we say the house was painted last week. So our subject becomes our object and vice versa, okay? Why do I say was painted? Because in my active voice, I said painted. 
and paint that is the past. And remember that the passive voice in the past, it is made with um, was, where, plus past participle, okay? This is what we said yesterday, okay? Let me give you some other examples because then you're gonna help me out. Let's see, here we go. Okay, look at this one. I want you to help me. So if we, if we have a female's author wrote this letter, what is the passive voice, guys? What is the passive voice here? Number one. Number, number, let's take a look at this one, okay. This is the example, right? But I want you to help me to finish this example. So a famous author wrote this letter. So what is the passive voice here? What is missing in this blank here? Rod? Right, if, Rod? If, Rod? If I, <laughs> if, I, if I write, wrote, if I write, write, so something is missing here. What is missing? Was right. Okay, I heard somebody said was, right? So if I say, if I say was, was right. what? Okay, was, and then you said? Right. right. Right, like this? Yes. Right. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's analyze this, guys, please. First of all, what do I need to use to make the passive voice? I need to use was or where plus past participle. Now, let's analyze this. Uh -huh. I hear. Was, writ was written was written okay so he's saying was written right like this i like it alex because in this case we are guys i hear a background noise a mic is open and i hear like some okay thank you so much so if i say like alex said um this letters was written now it makes more sense, but there's still something that we need to double check here. What is it? Let's analyze this. These letters was written by a famous author. Very we, yes. We we use uh, the word for the letters is, is a plural. Okay. So what do we say then? were writing awesome there you go mm. alex exactly we do not say was because letters is plural therefore we say were written that's the attitude okay very good as you can see here we say was written and why do i say was written because that is the passive voice in the past and wrote here my verb is in the past wrote Therefore, I say we're written, okay? So what about number one? Okay, let's take a look at this. What about number one? Help me, please. Number one, who wants to volunteer? Number one. I can see we are now, let's see, 14 connected. That's really cool. So give me your ideas, please. We are going to change these sentences into passive voice. So that's the challenge. Mm -hmm. Any volunteer? My first tip is the following. Let's identify the verb, the action. What is the verb here? Is? To. What? 
took, exactly. Oh. Took is in the past. So we know that we have to say the passive voice in the past as well. So took, what is the past participle of took? Past participle of took mm -hmm. is? Taken. Taken. taken, taken, yeah. Somebody said taken, very good. So taken. So now what is the object here? What is the object? Look at this one. Students, mm -mm. students is no. the sum, right? What is the object? Some, exam. Entrance exam. Exactly, the college entrance exam. So, how do we make this inversion? How do we convert this into passive voice? Now that we have identified the object and also the verb. The college entrance exam was taken over. 30,000 students. Okay, yeah, just a little change in it to, needs to be made. So the college ex entrance exams was taken by over 300,000 students, okay? If we want to say the students. So only the by was missing, but the, the idea in general, you just did it, okay? So good, what about number two? Let's work on this, what about number two? What is the main verb here? The main verb is? Informed. 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 <clears throat> Very good. So how do we make the conversion now? What is the object? What's the object? And what is the subject here? The class. Mm, okay, but the object is most of the time next to the verb. The object received the action, okay? The student. The students, very good. So now how do we make the passive voice? The students. Mm, the students inform. Mm, we, need to, we need to use the passive voice. The student. Mm. Well, the student was informed that the class has been canceled. Very good, but there is still one little change that we need to make. The students? Were. Were. Very good. That's the one. Is the students were informed that the class had been canceled. Very good. You see? Now, good. What about number three? What is the main verb here? The main verb is? Choose. <laughs> Chose, very good, it is chose. Yeah. So now, how do we make the, this into a passive boy? This is a little bit more challenging, but I want you to think. What is the object, what is, what is receiving or who is receiving the action? Her. Her, yeah. good. Uh -huh. so, so let's start using this idea. How do we make this sentence so it makes sense? She was, she was cho chosen. Exactly. She was chosen mm -hmm. and to receive the, the award. That is perfect. Good. She was chosen to receive the award. And if we still want to mention the teachers, we can say by the teachers, but by, it would be unnecessary. By the teacher. Mm -hmm. teacher. Exactly. As you can see, you just gave me the answer. So she was chosen. We don't know who chose her. We just know that she was chosen, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. So that's basically a very quick review. And I really hope you guys already finished uh, the first exercises, okay, on the platform. If you haven't finished, I, I do invite you to go ahead and complete them on the platform, okay? So um, just as a um, conclusion, guys, remember, we um, use was or where plus pass participle of the main verb. Keep that in mind. This is used when we talk about passive voice in the past. 
in the past tense, okay? So that's basically it. Now, let's move on. Let's see, today we have, let me, give me just a second. Okay, pronunciation. I know this is something that maybe you already watched the video we have on the platform, but then um, before mm. I explain this to you, I want to clarify something. In Spanish, guys, we have five vowels, right? Can you tell me, can you tell me the five vowel sounds in Spanish? A, E, I, O. A, E, I, O, O. Exactly. We have A, E, I, O, O, and that's it. That's it. In English, it's different. In English, it's not the same. English has an approximate of 20 vowel sounds. Okay, so why am I saying this to you? Is because I don't want you to generalize thinking that we have, oh, letter O is O. No, we have different sounds. We have about 20 vowel sounds in English. Now, we're gonna practice just a few words, okay, which are given so you can practice, okay? So it's not the same if, if I wanna say, look, take a look at this one. Take a look at this one. It's not the same if I say, uh, these words like not and no, oh, not, top, no, oh, there's a O sound, like if there is an O sound after the O. So not, top, no, you don't say no because it's no, O, O, no, don't. Look at this one, even though it's an O, like the spelling is an O, but we do not say do, we say do, u. So what is that telling me that I don't have to say, oh, it's an O, I pronounce it like an O. No, there's, there's like, this is, this is like U sound. This is a long sound, U, do. Look at, look at this one, food. I do not say food, I say food. Food, food, food. So these words, guys, maybe you already know that, right? That you say food. We don't say food. We could say food. So the question is, how do I know? How do I pronounce u? Or when do I pronounce o? So let me be very sincere with you. There are many, many ways. One, the dictionary. Second, there are many apps, and I want to suggest you one. Um, one which I love using, which is to phonetics.com. That's a good one. And then, so you can double check the pronunciation of a word so you don't pronounce it or so you don't mispronounce it, okay? So this is something that you have to have in mind, okay? This is that I want to say. Do not focus thinking that it's only one sound. It might vary, it might change, okay? But it's given already, okay? So we do not say, uh, what? This is it's not love, it's love. Uh, love, love. love. We do not love. say love, love. right? Love. This love. is like, we have one, two, three, like eight love. words, but we have love. more. Love, love. Are, okay, love. Are, you, are you in love? One, one, as you can see. So I invite you to watch the video as many times as possible and practice the pronunciation. I got some others here. Look at this one, okay? This is lock, done. I don't say dong, I say done, lock. done. I don't say song, I say soon. Some. Wrote, wrote, wrote. It's not, it's not, it's not rot. It's wrote, 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 wrote. It's not come, come, no, it's come. Um, come, come, come. Come here, please, come here, come here, come here, please. So look at this one, on, hot, and who. So on this lesson, guys, I, I do thank you for practicing with me. On this lesson, what I want to point out is that, I, that you need to focus and check the spelling and also practice this word. I know this is just a few words, but then it's so important that you guys double check the pronunciation so you can say and pronounce it pronounce them correctly. I also got you here how to pronounce this word. Look at this one. Let me uh, show you something here. Look at this. How do I say, uh, or how do I pronounce the word, uh, this one? Look at it. This is pra, 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 p
pronunciation, pronunciation, Pr pronunciation. So, shen, shen, pronunciation, pronounce. Whenever you see, pronunciation. in case you like, in case you like to use apps or dictionaries, when you have this uh, apostrophe, you know, on the top, like here or above, mm -hmm. that is that that means that the next coming syllable it has mm -hmm. a stress. You have to make an a stress right here. Pronunciation. 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 We do not say pronunciation. No, it's pronunciation. 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 Okay. Since I know you already have an idea in how to pronounce this and applying what I just explained, I'm going to give you a very quick challenge, okay? Uh, maybe you want to screenshot these words so you can have them, please, or you can write them down because we are going to use them. I'm going to give you three minutes, but then I want you to uh, maybe a screenshot or take a picture of this slide. Okay, or maybe write it down, please. Okay, so if you did that already, I'm going to uh, move to the next one. Screenshot or take a picture of it. Because what is coming is where I want you to uh, use them. Look at this one. I'm going to give you three minutes, okay? And I want you to think about one scenario, create a short conversation using at least four words from the pronunciation practice. I'm going to give you three minutes. I'm going to send you guys in different rooms for you to create a, uh, like a, a conversation, improvise it but I want you to use at least four words from the previous list. And then when you are used, using them on your conversation, after you say your pronunciation, your, your uh, dialogue or conversation, you are going to share those words with the whole class, okay? So from these ones, choose only four or maybe more and use them in a conversation, how you name it, okay? Let's see. I'm gonna give you three minutes and we are, let's see, we are 18. Okay, that's cool. In case, in case, listen to this, in case you have no partner in your uh, room, please come back to the main station. I'm gonna send you guys in groups, I mean in, in pairs at this moment for you to create this conversation, okay? So here we go. Take advantage of the time, improvise it. Maybe you wanna greet, hey, what's up? How's it going, okay? And you start speaking and then you use the, the, the four words. That will be it, okay? Here we go. Do you have questions, guys, before I send you guys to the rooms? No? Yes? I think um, the conversation is uh, um, a free, you can invent, Exactly, free conversation, okay. free topic. Here we go, good. Thank you so much for asking that. Let me see, everybody's gonna have a partner. Okay, if, if you are three by any chance, just go ahead and see how you can, uh, the three of you speak, here we go.
Before the class, before the class, the class, the English class, I take my class, my yoga class. This is for me my my sport. Great. <laughs> I am. Um, uh... ah. Yes, <laughs> is is the how do you say it's verbs verbs in. Um, Regular is is. I think. And oh. I love to to do or to make a uh, oatmeal uh, for uh, for breakfast. Yes, okay. from here delicious. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, do you like? Imagine los. Ah, lo siento, es que creo que pensé que se había, se había, nos habíamos regresado al, al room. Sí, no, no. Está, imagino que es cuando él se, se mete a revisar, ¿no? Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Um, okay. Hi, do you like food? Ahí tenemos dos. Um, yes. and... Do you like food? Yes. Um, I love. For example, uh, how do you say? Well, good. Pancho y will record the video. The video. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is in passive voice. Is the video will. The. Cuando... Hey, I'm waiting at the door. They open as soon as possible. As soon as uh -huh. possible. possible. Uh -huh. Because I don't. Okay, welcome back, guys. Thank you so much for practicing in the rooms. I don't know if I caught your inspiration. You were talking in English a lot, but now it's the time for you to come, you know, here and socialize what you practice in the rooms, okay? So we don't have much time, therefore I need to start. And for this, I need volunteers to just go ahead and improvise. I want to listen to you speaking English, okay? So whatever you talk, go ahead, please. Raise your hand and start participating. Let's see who wants to start. Wow, I see many people willing to participate. Come on, go ahead, just, okay. okay. Blanky, thank you so much. Who did you practice with? First, first, I'm sorry, I'm late. I connect 10, 
30 uh, seconds late, sorry, <laughs> but I, I'm okay. All right. And with my group, we talk uh, for sports and, and share what sports we practice. And usually we don't have time for practice, but it's, it's essential for the health. And well, in my case, I practice yoga. It's not really sport, but it's uh, exercise for my, my health is good. And well, that's it. I don't know. It's, it's the correct answer for the exercise, but mm -hmm. it's, that's it. Right, and that's really important. Yes, practicing yoga, I imagine, is really, really healthy. And thank you so much. And Blanky, was that like a conversation you had with your partners? Or you were taking turns to give your idea? Every, everything talk what the, the sports practice. Mm -hmm. My partners talk the Edis practice rugby. Um, and usually uh, go to the gym and, and my other partner, uh, no exercise or don't practice sports. Oh, no, usually, yes. Um, in the past practice, uh, basketball, I think so. And, and, and talk with the principal problem is the time we don't time oh always uh, we 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 work right yeah but we have to learn how to manage the time right because yeah. living some time for any sport is essential you know that's something that we have to consider i know sometimes we have many excuses and i'm telling you this because i do something the same and i said no but i now have to go at least uh go running for 20 20 minutes but there's always a chance if we manage the time i want to thank you uh blanky for sharing and i want to know if there is anybody else who would like to maybe demonstrate what you taught um, within or in a conversation or, or the way you did it using the words, some of the words, okay? Let's see, who wants to do it? All right, thank you so much, Claudia, appreciate it. Go ahead. Uh, okay, we was talking. We were uh, was talking about uh, food. Uh, what kind of food that we like? Um, I think that uh, Dina. I think that she she talked that uh, every she loved to eat um, fruit for the for the lunch, and I said that I love the. Um, uh, for my breakfast, a uh, hot oatmeal, I make oatmeal pancakes, <laughs> and I think and I think that uh, Dina said that the that the kind of the fruits that she loved too, and that was all. Okay, so you were talking about food. Okay, yeah. maybe because we're hungry. <laughs> have you eaten, <laughs> have you guys eaten dinner yet? Yes. Me, me too. Me me. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. All right. Good. I I like you know the topics, guys. Sports now. Food. Anybody else? We have one more participation, please. Okay, I see you don't want to say anything. Okay, let's move on. Next time I want you to participate. Okay, don't be afraid. Just go ahead and say, oh, Nelsie is there. Okay, Nelsie, go ahead, please. Okay, we had a little conversation about with the bear about uh, the locker is locked. 
um, we are we are talking about. I, I I'm going to read what it what is what was the conversation. Um, hi Bea, my locker is too lock. I'm waiting that the door the door is open as soon as possible because I don't a letter that I wrote to my mom. And Bea was waiting was waiting that the Hello. locker. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Hello, Nancy. Hello. I worry because uh, my locker too is locker uh, is locked, uh, and I I waiting for help as soon possible because I don't have letter that I wrote for my boyfriend. Okay, Bea, relax. Your locker is gonna be open as soon as possible. I hope. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's all. Nice. I imagine. <laughs> yes. It seems like something really simple, but I imagine having my locker, you know, locked. And yeah, it might be something really frustrating, okay? So thank you so much for sharing. Uh, guys, I have a quick question. Have you uh, been able to access to the platform and complete the exercises? I asked this question earlier, but I want to make sure you guys all have the access, okay? And there was one exercise that is supposed to be done already, which is about uh, passive voice in the past. Have you completed this exercise? Yes? Yes. Yes, you did? Okay. So that's really cool. So please, I invite you to um, make sure you work on a daily basis. Do not leave it for the very last day of the week because at the end, you're going to have a lot of things to do and that's not going to be something, you know, very uh, useful. You might even get frustrated because it's a lot of information. So the intention is that you guys do it daily, right? Today you complete this and then you continue and, and so on and so forth. Okay, so well, I'm glad you have done that. Today we have a new topic. Well, it's not a new topic. It's just something related to what we've been talking already. And this is the passive voice in present. Before we check a conversation that is also, you know, on the platform, I want to know if you uh, can explain to me what you understand by passive voice in present. This is the conversation that you're going to watch on the platform, okay? I don't know if you have already listened to it. Please uh, send me um, okay on the chat if you already listened to this conversation on the, on the platform, please. If you did it already, send me an okay. Or maybe you can sh show like this, a thumbs up. Who has listened to this? Conversation. No. I think nobody has done it. Okay. So, okay, there's one person, Blanky, and also Claudia. I'm glad. Okay. So, this is a conversation that is already there. And this conversation is going to illustrate how the passive voice is used, not in the past this time. This time is going to be used in present. Uh, without me explaining to you where the passive voice is used. Can you tell me, or can you try to identify the passive voice in this conversation, please? And tell me which is the sentence or passive voice. Raise your hand, please. Um. Okay, thank you so much, Nancy. Tell me. I think that this letter B in the question, uh, what currency is used in the European Union? Hmm, thank you so much, Nancy. We have the first participation and that is correct. We have, as she said, we have here is, and then we have used. And this time, it's not going to be was. It's not going to be where. It is is, or it can be are. Was. Was. Okay. Remember, 
when we use the passive voice in present, it's not was, it's not where, it is, is, are, or even um, okay? But because mm -hmm. it's the present, okay? But it's passive voice. Mm -hmm. What currency is used in the European Union? As you can see, is used, it is now our passive voice, but now it's in present. If it was the past, mm. then we would say where, or we would say was, because it's the past. But now it's the mm -hmm. present. We use the, the present of the verb to be. Okay, you follow me? Instead of using where, instead of using uh, was, we say is, are, or even am, depending on what we want to say, okay? So that's basically what I wanted to point out. So let's keep reading. Is there any other use of the passive voice in present tense here? Any other? Uh, the letter A, I think in the euro is used in most of the U, uh, USA. The okay. EU. The EU, the yeah. EU stands for European Union. Yes, okay, exactly. We have once again the same structure. I think the euro is used in most of the EU. All right, is there any other guys, any other um, construction that you identify? Any other? Yes, all right. And is English spoken much there? Exactly, is English spoken? As you can see here, we say is English spoken. Now we have English in the middle, but why? That is because it's a question, okay? So instead of saying English is spoken, we just make a switch on the verb, on the, on the subject, I'm sorry, with the verb to be. So we say, is English spoken much there? Okay, good. What else? Is there any other construction here? Are they accepted? Son, yes, Milton, that's correct. So are they accepted? Very good. Are present, and we use are because it's they, and then our past participle is accepted. Okay, as a conclusion here, we can say that we use the verb to be in present and then the past participle of the verb, and that makes a difference. That's it. Now, instead of saying we're talking about passive voice in the past, we're now using passive voice in present. So let's do this. I want you to practice with me, okay? So because I, I can see that most of you haven't listened to the conversation, I'm going to play it, okay? Because I want you to practice the conversation with uh, your partner, okay? So give me a second. I'm going to play the conversation once and you can... You can uh, Listen to the pronunciation given on the platform, okay? Here we go. Give me a second, please. Let me see. Let's see. This is the lady. This is our teacher on the online, on the platform. Here we go. Much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Give me a second. I think I changed the conversation. <laughs> one, one second, please. Okay. I hear some interference, guys. Mm -hmm. It's just loading. Give me a second. It's loading. I'm going to play it for you. <laughs> Pay attention to the to the pronunciation, please. Here we go. Much there? I really have no idea. Huh? Well, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know?
something is not working, you just start playing from the middle of the conversation. So I'm not going to play it, okay? I'm going to be basically the speaker. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at the pronunciation here in case, you know, something it needs to be double checked, okay? Um, so let's take a look at this. Uh, is there any volunteer for me to, uh, I mean, to practice with me or do I have two volunteers to read the conversation just to check mm -hmm. on, the, on the pronunciation? See, we have Claudia. Thank you so much. Is there anybody else who would like to help? Anybody else? We are 14. Come on. Okay. Thank you so much. Claudia, would you like to start? Okay. Thank hello. You. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is used in the European Union? Where? The European Union. I think the euro is used in most of the EU. EU. Oh, right. And is English spoken much there? I really have no idea. Oh, well, what about credit cards? Are they accepted everywhere? How would I know? Well, you're a travel agent, aren't you? What? This is a hair salon. You have the wrong number. Right, you see, you see. Thank you so much. Thank you. Very good. I see. I can see uh, the pronunciation. It's it's just great. So let's do something because we don't have much time. I need I need you to practice now. Okay. So I'm gonna give you guys um, like three minutes for you to practice in pairs. Okay. This conversation. We are 14 connected, so that's really cool. We can practice in pairs. Practice as much as you can, take advantage of the time, and then switch roles, okay? Switch roles, all right? Here we go, only practicing. I'm going to uh, create this one more time. Let me see. Okay, here we go. Yes? <laughs> Seguimos, cambiamos. Uh, practice. Sí, cambiamos, practice. cambiamos. Okay. Hello. Oh, hello. I need some information. What currency is
I think some of you didn't have the, the conversation, right? Did you have the conversation with you or did you have the access? If it's there, Luis. Yes, you did. I'm sorry. Uh, did you have the conversation? Because I saw some of you were texting on the on the chat that you wanted me to send you the, um, the conversation, right? Yes. I apologize because I just I, I have yes. Yes, sorry, teacher. We didn't practice. Oh, you didn't. Oh, you didn't practice. Okay. The thing is that uh <laughs> remember that you have this conversation on the on the website, but then I forgot to ask you to the screenshot the, the, the screen. I'm sorry. I forgot and I was like, oh, how are they going to practice? <laughs> yeah. Teacher, so, I copy text for practice. <laughs> Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I already I already sent the um, image on the on the group. Okay. But then that is from the um, conversation. If you guys, I do suggest you to please access to the platform and watch the video. You will see this conversation, the one I try to play, but it didn't work. Okay. Okay. So, so thank you so much, guys. Listen, we only have five minutes. And do you have any questions about the exercises on the platform? Do you want, do you need any help? <laughs> I don't start in, in <laughs> yes, me too. The platform. <laughs> I haven't even started, so how, how can I? It's, the weekend That's, teacher is, is... Yes. Okay. Marathon. When, I, when we start the okay. we have I, questions. <laughs> all right. Yeah. If you, by any chance, have questions, you see that you're saying, no, but this is the answer, but it's not working. Please write it down and have it ready for the next session. Okay. Take advantage of the time during this uh, tomorrow is Friday and then you have Saturday and Sunday. Try to complete everything and then have your questions ready for Monday in case there's any, okay? And then, oh. um, well, today, that was a topic. Before we finish, I want to ask you, what is the difference between present and past, passive voice? What is the difference? The verb to be. The verb to be, exactly. <laughs> if it is is, if it is are, that's perfectly fine. Then it's present. But if it is, was, and where, then it's past. My second question is, when do I use the passive voice? Passive voice in action. Mm -hmm. I have an action and suited. And is a uh, passive voice is uh, object uh, inverse is mm -hmm. for practice. Is, is, Teacher, a question, a passive voice is applicable in uh, forever is in a sentence. Yes, or... well, passive voice is used in most of all tenses, present, uh, past, future, and is a little bit more formal when you don't want to mention who does or, or who did or who, or who will do the action, then we use the passive voice, okay? Oh, the passive okay. voice is basically used when you don't want to say who did the action. Sometimes it's more, let's say, polite when you don't say who did the action, okay? And that is a little bit formal. When you want to talk about history, or, or events in the past, it's more recommended to use the passive voice. When you want to talk about accidents that happen, instead of blaming others, you just want to say, for example, uh, passive voice. I worked, I worked first, you know, in a call center. I had the chance to work on that. I remember that I used to say, the bill wasn't paid. I didn't say, you didn't pay the bill because that might be offensive. But if I say, hey, you know what, my dear customer, the bill was not paid on time. I'm not saying you didn't pay the bill. I'm saying that the bill wasn't paid, you see? So there's a change on the meaning 
the way you convey the meaning is different because you're not blaming others. You're not saying who did or, or who did not do the action, okay? So guys, well, it's a pleasure for me to be connected this just little time with you. Practice as much as you can. I know you're doing a good job. I know I can hear you speaking the language and I'll see you guys on Monday, okay? If you have any questions, please be ready for Monday with them, okay? Have a nice night. Enjoy your weekend and your family and, and loved ones. Bye bye. And keep practicing sports. That's good. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye bye. 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 Bye.